Welcome back to Meal Methods. So today I want to talk to you guys about the two different uh, types of people that are out there. Um, one person is the person that I really hope that you guys are leaning towards with doing this program, trying to create a lifestyle that lasts. And the other person is probably 95% of the people in the world. The yo-yo diet or strict bender is what I call it. And what I mean by well, I'm going to get into detail with the yo-yo diet or strict bender. I don't want to give it all away. And then the other person that is the crawl, walk, run. Okay. So the yo-yo strict dieter is the person that has. Has tried every single diet out there. They've tried every fat out there. They've done the losing 30 pounds in 30 days. They've done keto. They've done Atkins. They've done zone. They've done high carb. They've done no carb. They've done low cal. They've done high cal. They've done no fat, low fat, high fat. They've done everything searching for the right diet to be their lifestyle, right? To be their end all, their be all, because they're looking for a quick fix and then assume that, well, they can eat. I think in their, your brain, you think, oh, I can maintain that, or I'm just going to do this a strict, strict, strict diet, and then I can slowly ease back into some kind of lifestyle. Well, when you haven't taken the time to learn what it takes to do a lifestyle and learned your body and learned how to give yourself grace, then how in the heck can you do something so extreme? Because you don't even know your body enough, and your body's all out of whack because you did something super extreme. Okay, that's this person. This person is... Okay, we're going to call us resolution rescue people. This person is trying to find a lifestyle. Yes, it's not as sexy. It's not as attractive for people to be like, this is the person that would be following the lose 30 pounds in 30 days. This person might be trying to lose three pounds in 30 days. Who the heck is going to try to sign up for that program, right? Nobody. Nobody wants to sign up for that. But which one of these are going to reach their goal and stick to their goal for their life? This person. This person is going to deal with some mental garbage going on in their head because they're going to not trust themselves. They're going to fail. Then they're going to get back up and they're going to try another thing and they're going to fail. This person is giving themselves grace and trying to figure out what's going to work with their body, what's going to work with their life, and how do they learn to transition based on different things that are happening in their life. Okay? And don't think... Oh my gosh, this is a terrible person. This has been me most of my life, okay? And that's why we created Resolution Rescue, okay? This person is, as you can tell, extreme. That person is the person that has been, goes, oh my gosh, I'm going to do cardio twice a day. I'm going to work out. I'm going to do no carb all week. Then I'm going to, you know, keep going throughout the week and just have a small little snack. And then the Sunday comes and they're starving and they eat their face off and then they're like, oh my gosh, my whole week's messed up and oh, I can start back on Monday kind of thing. Or even worse, something happens on Friday and they go, well, I'm off the bandwagon until Monday, so I'm going to go crappy Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I'm not even going to work out. That's this person. And then they're going to jump onto the next fad that makes them feel excited and energized because it's something that's going to make them lose a million pounds and blah, 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 blah. But it doesn't even tackle the mindset and what our life actually brings, right? This person, they might not have the balance yet, but they're searching for the balance. They're searching to find the lifestyle that works for them. They're searching to find balance that works for them in their mind, in their body, and how they feel. This person This person falls off consistency consistently. Have you ever thought like oh my gosh, I can't even stick to a diet for three days. Like, what is wrong with me? Why can't, it's just food, blah, blah, blah. Like, or I can't do it for a week, or I can't do it for two weeks, or oh my gosh, by three weeks, I just, I, I can't do it. I can't stick to anything. Because it's a diet. It's something that you're trying to fit into your life. It's not you creating a lifestyle where the nutrition fits into it. Whereas when this person, because they're see searching balance they're searching for a lifestyle so they're searching for something that works no matter how their life works or wherever they're at in their life when they fall off they learn from it they grow from it and they give themselves grace and jump back on it's not a huge deal it's not even it's not super extreme it's not a big deal i haven't like they're not killing themselves prior to getting to that small 
fall off. Whereas this person's probably killing themselves and then rebounds in the same manner of how much effort they put into killing themselves, if that makes sense. So this person just gets back on. Meaning they have a small slip. They're like, all right, it is what it is. I'm just going to get back onto my program. Or they already know because they've created a lifestyle how to counteract that without having to fall completely off. Okay. This person from here goes right back to extreme. So Monday through Friday, they're awesome. Friday night comes, they go out with their friends, they have drinks, they're like, oh my gosh, the end of my world because I said I wouldn't do it. Now I don't trust myself. Now I might as well just drink all night and not even care because I have no inhibitions and eat my face off and then the next day I feel terrible so I'm gonna go get Starbucks and donuts and blah, blah, blah because nothing matters because Monday's coming. That's this person. And then they hear, I'm going to go and do no carb all month long. <laughs> That's this person. Whereas this person um, just goes right back to balance. I guess we could say give grace. So the whole goal of this was to figure out where you're at. Because I know without a shadow of a doubt that some of you guys are still here. Some of you guys, it's because it takes time. It's, but... My goal is, is that you want to be here, okay? It doesn't mean that you're going to easily just one morning wake up and completely find balance and never have big fall-offs or never want to um, feel extreme. It's being aware enough to know what to do when you start to feel extreme, like we talked about in this program. Okay, I'm tracking all my numbers and I'm going for fat loss. I'm getting kind of extreme with it and I'm feeling kind of anxious and stressed and I'm about to fall off the bandwagon. I'm just going to go back to my health goal. Okay, this person knows what to do with it. So I'm wanting to say, are you wanting to be the person that's tried every diet? Do you want to still be the person that's super extreme? Do you accept that that's who you think you are is extreme? Are you wanting to fall off all the diets and not trust yourself? Are you wanting to go back to the next new quick fix and follow everybody else? Or do you want to find a lifestyle, to find balance? to give yourself grace because you didn't just kill yourself all week and you had a small slip, no big deal. You can get right back on. You decide. That's all I want to say. You decide. So decide if you want to be this person or if you want to be this person. And if you're this person, how are you going to transition to this person? All right. Thank you so much for creating a lifestyle that lasts. So choose this person.